<laughs> uh, supposed to have done it right after I came back home from uh, the Manchester break. But, uh, well, I, I'm going to do it now. And I uh, hope everybody enjoys this little video that I put together. Because when I was down there in Manchester, Manchester, Tennessee, by uh, the man you see there in the yellow shirt, Mr. Budweiser Kid, you know, he's got that duck plucking thing going on down there for everybody. Now, keep in mind, everyone, next year is a 25-year anniversary. So if you couldn't make it this year, do your best to make it next year in 2016. Because uh, I'll let you know, we had a good time, enjoyed every duck plucking bit of it. As you uh, can tell if you didn't know already, the little beautiful blonde-headed woman standing there beside me in that picture, that's my better half. That's Lady Audio. And that duck plucking in an orange shirt there, that's Mr. 420 out of Portland, Oregon. And we all know Budweiser Kid. It don't look like he's got a Budweiser in his hand in that picture, but uh, yeah, that man in the yellow shirt, that's Mr. Budweiser Kid that... Uh, takes care of the things there at the Manchester, uh, Tennessee break, without a doubt. So uh, here's what's up. I told everybody, uh, if they signed my doggone shirt, if they wanted to, I didn't force nobody, but uh, I said if they, if they signed my shirt, I'd do a little video on it. So uh, did a couple pictures of it just a little bit ago, and I figure I'd let you all know just a portion of the people, because a lot of people left before I uh, come up with the idea, hey, y'all want to put your, your big old autographs on my, on my shirt, go for it, you know? It was my first year there, and I wanted to bring home some, some memories that I would uh, want to hold on to. So no further ado, I'm just going to grab these doggone pictures in here. And uh, I'm going to put them all up in there. Yeah, man. Some of them are kind of hard to see. But I'm sure you get the idea. That's a lot of the duck pluckers that was there. Let's see if I can't do a little bit of something here. And uh, move this around, let you see it maybe just a little bit closer. Uh-huh. Yeah, man, that's what I'm saying. A lot of these duck pluckers. I was down there in the Manchester, Tennessee for the good time break for Channel 28. And it was definitely a pleasure to meet everybody. Sign my shirt. Oh, man. But, you know, I didn't wear this shirt a whole lot when I was down there. I did not wear this doggone shirt a whole lot while I was down there, because we all know. <laughs> I don't like wearing no duck plucking shirt. So that's the, that's the back side. All right. Here's another angle of the back side. Yeah, man. It was a good time, though. Definitely, uh, Lord willing, we're going to be down there again 2016. 2016. Here's another shot of it. Look at all them duck flag guys. whole lot of good people whole lot of good people, and if you weren't there, you missed out. And I'm sorry to know that you did miss out, but uh, I hope you do your best to uh, make it down there next year because uh, it was a whole lot of fun. I mean, a whole lot of fun. You get to meet them doggone faces and put them with them voices. You know what I'm saying? That damn buzzard, he's circling. But uh, <laughs> it was a definite pleasure to meet him, too, with everybody else. I'm trying to think what pictures I put up here and what I haven't put in here. 
Yeah, that's one I just did. And uh, here's another one on the back side. Did a couple different shots. Didn't know what all would look best up on this doggone screen. But it was a good time. You want to meet all these duck pluggers? Quit hesitating. If you can make it, you can afford it to get down there. I promise you one thing, folks. You ain't going to regret it. If you're a true CB radio operator, you're going to enjoy every duck plucking bit of it. And you want to look for something new, uh, something old? i tell you it like this. There was anything from one watt to what was the biggest thing I saw? I think it was about... 35,000 watts, something like that. You looking for something? You looking for uh, something new? You looking for something old? There's all kinds of good stuff down here at the festivities. Bunch of good people. You know, I've been talking on the radio for a lot of years, a lot of years. And, uh, man, I had the warmest welcome at this duck plucking place, man. It was unreal. Oh, Big Joe. Big Joe, come up, give me a big old hug. I couldn't believe it. That big man, come up, give me a big old hug. And there were a lot of other people that gave me a big old hug, too. But I'll tell you what, it was a good time. Guaranteed tell you it was a good time, and if you missed it, you missed out big time. So do your best to get down there to uh, Manchester, Tennessee next year. I got a few pictures locked in my archives here. And uh, I'm going to say a few things here. Like, for instance, this man right here. Now, before I drop this picture in, I'm going to tell you, this man right here, I stood there and I talked to him for the longest duck looking time. Just stood there and talked to him. Good guy. Real good guy. And we chit-chatted, 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 talked about all kinds of stuff. And he starts talking about this guy in Ohio. And I'm just standing there. I'm listening to his voice. And uh, he says, oh, he talks on AM. He talks a little bit of sideband and, you know, just got a real good radio station sound, you know. And I'm like, man, who the hell is he talking about? That, that's what I thought, on, honestly, at first. I thought, who the hell is he talking about? <coughs> and uh, he didn't realize who I was. He didn't realize who he was talking about was standing right in front of him. And I said, uh you wouldn't be talking about audio, man, would you? He goes, yeah, yeah, that's the guy. Well, you know what? I turned around because, you know, as you can see, my name was on the back of my shirt. And I don't like wearing a shirt. Even in Manchester, Tennessee, I made myself at home. That man right there, that man gave me a big old hug. <laughs> That man right there gave me a big old hug. And uh, it was real surprising. It was real surprising. But uh, it was definitely a pleasure to meet this young man. Along with uh, a lot of these other duck pluckers that I'm going to drop down in here. I don't have a whole bunch of pictures, unfortunately. I, I have to say I'm sorry about that. But all these duck pluckers... We're definitely in Manchester, Tennessee. All of these duck pluckers was in Manchester, Tennessee. And you may not know who some of these people are by looking at the picture. But if you come down to Manchester, Tennessee in 2016, you're going to find out who you're really talking to. That doggone crippled lizard. You know, that duck plucker told me I was 100% covered on every bit of things I got in my doggone pondy. I think my insurance lapsed. We're going to have to have a talk next year. Hey, cripple. Crippled lizard, we're going to have to have us a little talk in Manchester, Tennessee next year because uh, I had a problem with my insurance plan. <laughs> oh, it's just too much fun. <coughs> had a real good time. Really, really, really good time. I'm going to drop a couple more pictures down in here. Oh, yeah, there's another the duck plug I've been talking to for years. You know who that is? I ain't going to tell you. You ought to know. I ain't going to tell you. Ain't that right? We've been talking a lot of years, homeboy. 
definite pleasure. There's my other one, my mentor, Mr. 559. Oh, man, I said I wasn't going to say no names. Let me be quiet. But, you know, I ain't letting a whole cat out of the bag. You come on down next year and uh, find out for yourself the good time that you missed out and those that were there. You know what was going on. We had a good time. All about a good time down in Manchester, Tennessee. Oh, I think I got a double of that one. How did I do that? Oh, yeah, just a good time. If you couldn't make it, do your best to be there next year. You get to meet all these people if they get the chance to be there again. Because it was a good time. It was a real good time. Better half had a good time. Man, better half, we got up in the doggone motel room. She looked at me and she said, honey, do you know what's going on? I said, well, yeah, we're in Manchester, Tennessee. She said, no, you don't realize what I'm talking about. I said, well, honey, tell me what you're talking about. She goes, you're an FNCB radio star. I said, no, baby, you got it wrong. She said, no, you are. You just don't seem to realize it. I said, well, honey, whatever you want to call it, I'm just enjoying the fact of being around all my friends that do talk on the radio. You know, you talk with people for so many years. And uh, when you get to meet up with all these duck pluckers, well, you really find out what radio is all about. My better half can't wait to go back to Manchester, Tennessee next year. She says, I hope this year goes by real fast. But she wants to go back to Manchester, Tennessee. I think it was the moonshine. <laughs> you duck pluckers. <laughs> you moonshine bouncing duck pluckers. <laughs> a lot of good times down in Manchester, Tennessee, folks. A lot of good times. A lot of good radio operators. Most definitely a pleasure to meet every one of these guys. And unfortunately, I don't have as many pictures as I wanted to have. But next year, it's going to be different. Oh, well, audio man, he's going to be running around taking snapshots every which way but loose and probably be doing a whole lot of videoing next year. But all these duck flickers you see right here, well, Big Joe must have about 100 hats. But all these duck flickers was in Manchester, Tennessee from all parts of the United States, all parts. I mean, oh, man, there was people coming in from California, from New York, Florida, Carolinas. Man, the list goes on and on. Portland, Oregon. I mean, Texas. I mean, shoof. I mean, there was people from everywhere in Manchester, Tennessee. So do your best to make it down there next year. And then maybe, just maybe, I can put you in one of these. I am Audio Man, 288, around Canton, Ohio. And it will definitely be a pleasure to see, hear, and talk all about the things we do. And then a couple other things that you just never know. God bless. Take care. Have a good night. Good day. I'll catch you out there on the air or over in Pal Talk. Audio man. Go ahead and throw down a comment at the bottom. Y'all want to throw a comment down at the bottom? Go for it. Like it, love it, hate it, whatever the case might be. But don't have a jealous side to you contendency. Like I said before, I am Audio Man, 288, Pro Football Hall of Fame, and I just got down. <laughs>